cotton candy making machine. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by KiwiCo, a monthly subscription box where fun and learning meet together. Check out KiwiCo.com forward slash nerdycrafter for 50% off your first month of any of their crates. Hey Greens, welcome to Cashier Trash Food Edition, where we're going to be testing out many different kinds of foods, ranging from interesting to about... Disgusting? Yes. Gross? Yes. Shouldn't exist disgusting? Yes. Yeah. Joining me today is my lovely sister Sika. What's up? The hashtag feed Sika so ongoing so we're gonna feed her. I don't want gross foods. We're gonna feed you. I don't want gross foods. It's not necessarily Blech. up to you. We're just Blech. feeding you. We're taking your mouth. No. And we're putting the food. I'm being force fed like a little bird. No. You know like the bird. You're no, regurgitating. I don't want to be, no, I don't want to be. <laughs> I'm old enough to eat my own food now. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> no I touched your tongue. <laughs> Today we're going to be testing out 11 different types of foods. And beverages? And beverages. Actually, she has no idea. She just heard the clinging. I just heard clinging, so I know there's bottles involved. <laughs> so you grains can see the different kinds of foods that she's going to be trying, well, we're gonna be trying, but she really has no idea, except for the Criola cereal. Because it's in front of us right now. Yes. Yeah. Many of you grains tagged me on Twitter saying that Criola, <laughs> my favorite brand in the universe, made a cereal. Made a cereal. Criola and I are the best friends ever. Ever. We get along, we understand each other, we always agree on everything. Figure it out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Figure, Figure it out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below which one do you think is going to be the most gross out of all of the items that you see on the table. Most of these food items are from VAT19. For those of you who don't know VAT19, it's a website that curates weird and interesting products. They don't really make them, they just curate them so it's easier for you grains to find them. Not sponsored, not affiliated, but if you want to do it, do Let's it. Let's do it. <laughs> By the way, for those of you new to this channel, Where'd you get that one from? <laughs> I have upgraded. That's dangerous. Be careful before you cut I know, I'm so scared it. right now. <laughs> Put it down. No, wait, I have a mission. Don't forget to subscribe, otherwise we will wave sharp pointy things, everything from little ones to big ones. Please don't wave that one, you're gonna drop it and cut your leg off by accident. It is very much so like me. It's very heavy. It is, so if I don't wave it at you, I'll drop it on myself. Don't do it. Make sure you click on all notifications <laughs> while you're there. <laughs> Our first food item is Crayola cereal. This is really exciting because, well, hang on. First of all, the box looks incomplete. So part of me doesn't even acknowledge the box, even though it's supposed to be a coloring activity. I feel like if you're going to color it with their actual crayons, it won't even stick to the box. Like the box is too shiny for that. Yeah, you know what? I do have crayons, mm. so we can try. Mm. Unless they supply us with them. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that Did you too. really have to go with family size? That was actually the only size available. <laughs> I was so, like, what if we don't like it? Backstory. Crayola cereal was only available in the US. However, here in Canada, I had to buy it from another company, and this box of cereal cost me $18. Canadian? Canadian. So I had to pay $18 for Crayola cereal, and the I only- hope, I hope there's gold in there. I mean, the flavor is Jazzaberry. What the hell? Jazzaberry. Oh. Jazzaberry. <laughs> Jazzaberry. Okay, Good here's job. my friend Jazza, and he's a berry now. Jazzaberry. It's Jazzberry. Sorry, Mike. You're Jazzaberry now. I don't even know what Jazzberry is. I have no idea what jazz if you grains know what jazzberry is let us know in the comment section below so what we're going to do is we're going to taste every single cereal every color every color see if separately there's a separately okay. are you done yeah do you have any other questions that are burning inside you not yet okay we're gonna try it <laughs> and let you grains know how we feel are we gonna color the box too yeah right yeah did i yeah. stutter yeah okay we're gonna color the box what we're gonna color the box <laughs> did, did you enunciate no i didn't <laughs> <laughs> and I just blended into each other. You're like, what? We want a box. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Great. Mm. Let's do this. Speaky. No. <laughs> In order to know what it tastes like, time to see what we get inside. Open it. Me or this looks like Fruit Loops. It looks like Tricks. Is that what it's called? Yeah. The bunny one? By the way, some cereals in the US do not make it to Canada because they are not considered food <laughs> items, so we are not allowed to have them. They're not food. So you Americans really need to look at your food list items because it can't even come to Canada. There's a problem. There's a little problem. Can't be very healthy. Mm -mm. All right, ready? Yeah. And it smells, it like, smells tricks. like tricks. It smells like Tricks. Yeah, it does. It doesn't have a very strong smell though. And slightly like pebbles. Yeah. Oh, I am really curious now. <coughs> a little synthetic. I don't think we even have pebbles anymore. No, here, we right? don't have fruity pebbles. We don't have tricks yeah. either. Because they're not food enough for us. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead, put it in a bowl. It does look super colorful. It reminds me a lot of my childhood. Tricks. 
But again, I'm really, really curious. It doesn't smell as strong as I thought it would be. Do you want to try a red? You mean pink? Ready? Yeah. Go. Just tastes like uh, corn pops. No. No. I think I find it tastes like corn pops. It's a crossbreed between Fruit Loops and Fruity Pebbles. So let's try blue. Do you want to tell me it's turquoise? <laughs> Tastes the same, right? Exactly. This even tastes less flavorful. Yellow? Ready? Mm-hmm. And the worst thing is it doesn't even taste like a berry. Is there a berry flavor for you? No. The jazzberry? I don't know what jazzberry tastes like. What are we going? Green? Yeah. They all taste the same. Yeah. I don't know. It's very meh. I honestly would not spend $18 on this. I think Fruit Loops taste better. So for me, this cereal as a food item and flavor-wise would go straight. In the trash! No good. Mm. Don't do it. It's gonna be all over the floor. <laughs> I know. Mm. I'm gonna have to sweep. Dang it. Don't, Don't do it. <laughs> Is it time to the color the box? Are we gonna color the box? Let's color the box. <laughs> like, what do I do? I have a regular Crayola and I gave Sika the gel effect, which is much smoother. Yeah, the box is very wobbly. Okay, so I'm just gonna just color. Yeah, it works. Okay. It's very pale. The color is not going down nicely, but it is still an activity. Nothing special. That wasn't as exciting as I wanted it to be. No, you were hoping that you would get salty? Yeah. No, it didn't work out, did no. it? We're very fair grains, but the cereal is very disappointing. $20 down the drain. It's very crappy tasting cereal. Cereal? Cereal. Cereal! Zeke, are you ready for the next one? I don't know, I'm a little afraid. <laughs> no, no, I'm starting slow, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna get progressively worse. Okay. Okay? Okay. Next item. Mm hmm Pizza cotton candy. Okay. Does it taste like tomato sauce and cheese? I don't know. Okay. Uh, you okay? Yeah. At $8.38. <laughs> Ouch. It's still interesting because the idea is if you want to gift someone who already has a lot of things, something new, having different flavors is usually pretty fun. Are you okay? You look yeah. really nervous. I don't know how I feel about pizza cotton candy. <laughs> All right. So. Are we going to sniff it? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, nicely sealed. Too. Do you want to do the honors? No. No? Uh. It doesn't say what kind of pizza? No, I'm guessing. I mean, it has like onions and stuff on it. So to me, it looks like it is an all-dress pizza, but I think Amerigrains don't know what an all-dress pizza is. It's basically tomato. No, not tomato. No. Wow, I really ruined it. No, it's pepperoni, green peppers, and mushrooms usually. Yeah, and olives. Nope, not an all-dress. Okay, I don't need out very often. That'd be like, a, <laughs> that'd be like a, the specialty of the, what's it called? This usually added bacon and onions and uh, olives is if you're getting a specialty of the place, which is basically an all-dress with extra onions and bacon. I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what is your favorite topping on pizza. And for those of you who like pineapple on pizza, that is okay. I love pineapple on pizza. Don't, oh, you you do? Yeah, it's my favorite one. Okay, I was gonna say, like, don't let anyone judge you. You love eat it. what you love. It's delicious. Nobody's business if you like pineapple on your pizza. You I don't. Trouble? You don't like it, really? I don't like it, but... Every time I mean, we order out pizza, we always get a Hawaiian pizza. And then um, usually the Mexican, is it? Which is like the spicy version. Okay, I'm just gonna stop. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I'm making myself hungry for pizza now. Well, luckily, now we have pizza. Mm. You ready? No. Let's take a sniff. Okay. It smells like... Oregano. Yeah. Right? It smells like spices. <laughs> yeah, it smells like spices. Interesting. Are you okay? No. Are you getting nervous? A little bit. You want a half? Not half. No, you're gonna take half. It's no. gonna melt on your mouth. I'm just gonna take a small piece for now. Okay. You ready? The worst thing yeah. is, is like, if we don't like the flavor... It's gonna no... melt. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna melt straight into our mouths. Ready? Ready? Uh. Oh my god, you're taking a big piece. Whoa! <laughs> No, you have to take bigger. No, take a smaller one. There. Ready? Yeah. Go. <coughs> wow. Oh. It tastes like tomato sauce with oregano. Yeah. Okay. It's actually pretty good flavoring. It tastes like pizza sauce. Yeah, it does. The ones that you can find in a can yeah. or in a jar, it tastes exactly like pizza sauce. I am it's impressed. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. Definitely weird, but not bad. It has a slightly sweet taste yeah. to it, but I would definitely say if you're looking for a gag gift, a joke gift for this someone. Is pretty good. Yeah, definitely worth, worth <laughs> your cash. <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> Sticking to the theme of cotton candies, we have two more flavors to try. Is it like Caesar salad? No. Oh, that would have been funny. That's true. By the way, if you greens are interested to see the first gross foods that we tried, I will link it down below. The thumbnail looks like this. We really put Sika through a lot. Here's a scene. No. Get ready? Yeah. Go. Oh. <laughs> How did you manage to get it all over your face? <laughs> so our next one is 
pickle cotton candy. I like pickles. I know you like pickles. Do you want to tell us about your love of pickles? It's a little intense. <laughs> a little intense. It's like her mayonnaise. She got yes. a she got a gallon. It wasn't me. It was a housewarming gift for my best friend. Right. <laughs> when I finally got my own apartment, she got me like it was what like four liters I think of mayonnaise, and it took me like three months to go through it. <laughs> but you went through it though. Yeah, because I really loved mayonnaise. I get a jar of mayonnaise, the regular one, and it takes me a year to go through it. Yeah, no, I used to have a really huge mayonnaise obsession. Used to? Yeah, it's not as bad anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I used to like eat spoonfuls of mayonnaise. Oh, so good. oh. And now I'm like drooling a little bit because I usually eat pickles with mayonnaise. I know, that's why you're drooling right now. You want mayonnaise. I'm drooling so much right now. I'm grossed out. Like, my stomach is doing this and you're drooling. Yeah, I'm like overly salivating right now. I have goosebumps. Look at that. I have so much saliva in my mouth. I'm like trying to swallow it all. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and try pickles cotton candy. Not to be confused with pickles behind Sika. Come a little this way. Where is he? Your chair oh, is hiding pickles. I see him. <laughs> ah! It's dill pickles too. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, like she's shaking. <laughs> wow, you're really that excited, aren't you? Ready? Yeah. Oh, that smells terrible. <laughs> it's not just me, right? It smells terrible. <coughs> it smells so vinegary. <coughs> like deep, deep. No, I already sniffed deep. it. No, it's enough. <laughs> oh, I want it. Oh. It smells like the ranch. It smells vomity. <laughs> yeah, it does smell very acidic, not very pleasant. Think of a hot day. Well, it smells like dill pickle chips. As soon as you open the lid, no, 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 it just no, hits no, you in no, the no, face. No, no, like, no. It doesn't smell that good. I don't know. They don't smell good. It smells like garbage juice on a hot day. No, uh, that's not true. Garbage juice is so much worse. <laughs> but sni sniff deep, though. I did. No, I just, uh, garbage juice. How are you not? Worse. How are you not coughing? Well, it smells vinegary. I like vinegar. Not on, not on like potato chips, but like I like vinegar. Seriously, great. This smells like heartburn. I'm not gonna take I a big piece. I already have heartburn. I know my stomach is already upset. Oh, wait. There's no going back. Do you want to take a smaller piece? Yeah, of this? I do. <laughs> like, like this. Okay. 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 I'm scared. Ready? Go. <laughs> It's not bad. Okay, there's the aftertaste. It's not bad, but it actually tastes pickly. Yeah, the aftertaste is pickly, but the first touch on your tongue tastes like just dill. Yeah. Like herbs. Yeah. It's not bad though. I, it smells worse than it tastes. It does. Because it does taste pretty pickly. And it smells really like acid. Acid, yeah. Mm, so gross. It gave me heartburn smelling it. <laughs> I'm impressed actually. It, it tastes like pickles. So if you like pickles, it's definitely a win in my opinion. Yeah, so I would say that for $8, this is worth, worth your cash. cash. <laughs> Again, only if you're looking for weird stuff. Weird stuff. Actually, I lied. We have another cotton candy. Not just one more, but two more. Okay. So, you ready? Yeah. This one is still in the theme of weird flavors. Okay. We have bacon. No, it's gonna be gross. It's gonna taste like smoky and gross. It might just taste like barbecue. Mm, yeah, I guess maybe. We'll see. You, you excited about no. that? No. No, why? Out of all of, like she drooled. Let's, let's take a little reminder of how much she was so into pickles. I'm drooling so much right now. It's, and now it's about bacon and you're not excited. No, it's not the same thing. Okay. <laughs> it leaves us no other choice than to just try it. A snippet. Yeah, well, yeah. Ready? Yes. It is all good. It smells like the soda. It smells like coffee? What's wrong with your nose? It smells like coffee. Ugh. That's not how coffee smells. Get it away from me. It smells bad. <laughs> Something's wrong with your nose. Something's seriously wrong with your nose. <laughs> okay, stop! <laughs> <laughs> it does have a coffee-ish smell. No. What does it smell to you? It smells like freaking bacon knockoff stupid thing. I'm trying to make sure I'm not using bad words. Okay. <laughs> No. 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 For those of you who don't know, Sika loves to howl when she says no. 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 <laughs> All right, Sika, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> what, what's wrong? I'm You're not, like, I'm not emotionally ready, but I'm ready. I don't think anyone's ever emotionally ready to deal with me. That's too big. <laughs> That's what she's. I'm ready? Eating, I'm not eating the whole thing. It just smells. I don't. I don't, like I don't know why it smells things. like coffee to me. Your nose is broken. Ready? Oh, it smells terrible. Yeah. Go. It only tastes like um, pork in the end. Yeah. <coughs> There's no way to get it out of our mouths. Hang on. No. Mm -mm. I just finished my coffee, so. It tastes like pork. Yeah. Not it like tastes bacon, like... but it tastes like pork. It tastes like smoked pork. Right? A little bit of the aftertaste of beef jerky. Yep. Right? So the question is, does it taste like meat? Yeah. Yeah. Do we like it? No. no. But does it taste like what it says it will? Technically, yes. Yeah, so... I mean, the flavor is not great, but it does taste like what it says it's supposed to, so it's worth it if you're looking for bacon, cotton candy, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
just letting you keep talking and looking for your words. Oh my god. But it's not gross enough like the ranch drinks. Soda. That was not even worth no. getting. But if you really want that porky flavor. It does taste porky. It does taste like porky. Like so a sweet pork. A sweet pork. <laughs> Beef jerky, basically, the aftertaste. So it would be <laughs> worth your cash, skeptically, if you like porkiness. You I like, did not like that I'm flavor. I'm not a huge fan. It wasn't disgusting, but I wasn't in love with it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's just end it there. Yeah. Let's go to the next place. Yeah. <laughs> so now, the next one you're not going to be upset with, okay? Okay. Okay? Yeah. Why you has, Why is your voice have fear in it? Because you scare me with your food choices. This one's good, okay? I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't deceive you, would it's I? It's experimental, and you're using me as an experiment piggy thing. It's feed seeker. Uh, people keep writing hashtag feed seek Feed on the me comments. good food. <laughs> Nobody specified. If the comment section didn't specify, that means they left it at my discretion. It means I get to choose. I'm the boss. Unless you grains tell me exactly what the feeder. But at this come point. on, let's go. Dr Pepper cotton candy. Oh, I saw that online. Did you? Yeah. And it looked cool. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Give me information. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. All right. I'm really excited for Dr. Pepper because I hadn't had a Dr. Pepper in like two years. I like Dr. Pepper too, really. Let us know what your favorite drink is. We're curious. I'm a curious grape. Ready? Yeah. Oh, oh, you opened it all funny. You messed up. All funny. That's nice of you actually to say funny instead of other words. Mmm. Mm. I don't smell it. it. Smells red. Yeah. <laughs> I don't smell Dr. Pepper. It just smells red. It does smell red. Kind of like when you have that berry mental smell. Does that make sense? Berry mental smell. Yeah, when you think of berries and if something smells like berries, I guess. mentally you remember the smell of berries. Sure. Although I don't remember if Dr. Pepper is supposed to smell like berries. I don't think so. What's the flavor of Dr. Pepper? I don't really Cinnamon -y? know. Cinnamony? No, it doesn't have cinnamon in it. Berry? It just tastes like Dr. Pepper. <laughs> okay, do you want a small piece this time? I don't care. It's not as bad as like Look at pork. that cottony fluffiness. Oh, you gave me a whole Yeah. I thought you ate it. I no, was like, I'm you didn't wait for me. No, I'm sniffing. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Mmm, <coughs> Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. There is cinnamon. No. Yeah, it's like those candied hearts. No, what's wrong with you? It's not in the candied hearts. Where are you getting your candied hearts from? It tastes like candied hearts, right? <coughs> no, I just said no. <coughs> By the way, this is good. Yeah, it's really good. I would, there's nothing much to say other than it does taste like Dr. Pepper. And for me, Dr. Pepper has always had like the cinnamony flavor to it. Am I crazy? It does not taste like cinnamon to me. Let us know down below. Oh, wow, it's heavy. Yeah. Sorry, it's hefty. It doesn't say, it just says artificial flavors. All right, so Sika's eating it. I would say this is worth <laughs> your cash. <laughs> Sika. So I searched online what Dr. Pepper tastes like and it does have a cherry plum flavor. I guess that's why I said like berry. red berry, mental berry, right? But listen to this. Vanilla and cinnamon. Undertone. But the, they're there. Undertone. They're there. Undertone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that we had something delicious. No, that means it's gonna be bad. No, it's no, not. No, you said it, it means it's gonna be bad. No, not necessarily bad, just different. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going to be having candy this time. No, not cotton buy. candy. Is it vomit candy? N why, why would I even buy that? Why would anyone buy that You've for anyone? You've done that before. I have actually, mm -hmm. the birdie box mm -hmm. beans. If you grades are interested, it's very disgusting. Blech. It has earwax flavor too. And snot. And snot. For those of you who don't know, there's jelly belly beans that are candies that are absolutely gross and you don't know if you get the gross one or the good one and uh, yeah they have these flavors as you can see on the screen they're pretty gross but that's not where we're going okay we're trying to hope that this is delicious you ready yeah what are you getting <laughs> show me mac, mac and, and cheese candy. candy okay okay how do you feel about that i don't know are you okay yes now, I absolutely love mac and cheese. And I then love mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. There are times where I just crave it. And even my friends in Japan, because they don't have it in Japan, I end up sending it to them to enjoy. Let us know if you like mac and cheese. It's so good. And it's such comfort food. So now I'm curious if this mac and cheese can Do you see smell that? No. I got a whiff of cheese. Does it taste like powder cheese? It smells like powder cheese. That's why I asked you if you smelled it. Like, I went to go throw it out and I. You smell it? Yeah. I got a whiff I of do. It. it smells like the powder that yeah. comes in the mac and cheese. Yes. <laughs> are you, are you, are you excited now? 
<laughs> Did you guys see that? She went from like, okay, to all giddy and she can't. I like mac and cheese, but it's candy, so I don't know how I feel about it. It's mac and cheese to go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> now I have to admit, the can is absolutely adorable. I would even keep it just to make a craft on the inside. It does Cute. say finest cheesy confections. Creamy. Creamy. Sweet. Tasty. Tasty. And individually wrapped. I can hear Sika drooling. Like that's, I can hear you. Like I can <laughs> hear you swallowing like, <laughs> your saliva. <laughs> if it actually tastes like mac and cheese, it's like mac and cheese to go. So like if you can't actually make it. <laughs> wow, it's really cheesy and buttery smelling. What the hell? <laughs> It really does smell like buttery yeah, and cheese. cheese. Oh my god, I'm over celebrating. Can we have mac and cheese after? I don't have any. <laughs> what? Fine, I'll have mac and cheese when I get home. I have the gluten-free version at home. Okay. <laughs> All right, you done like not sharing with me? Yes, I am. <laughs> if you've ever had a grilled cheese sandwich, that's basically what it smells like. Do we break one? Yeah, I think we best break one. We best break one? <laughs> we best be breaking one. Wow, that smells intense. Ugh. Holy carb grains. It really smells like the concentrated powder. Look at that. The concentrated powder of the actual mac and it cheese. It smells good, but knowing that it's in a candy is like gag worthy for me. Like I'm like excited to try it, but at the same time like it's sugary, so I'm like half vomiting in my mouth right what? now. What? <laughs> All right, so since we want to split it, and we could technically do it like normal sisters would and just break it with our teeth, but what fun would that be? You're gonna go right through the freaking- Oh, don't hole. worry, I got this. You ready? You're gonna hurt yourself? No, don't Can worry. Can you please not cut your finger off? Here, I'm not even gonna put my finger, okay? We're just gonna go straight down, you ready? It's gonna go everywhere. You ready? Yeah, go for it. Okay, Grains, this ax has never been used, okay? Just letting you know it's clean, or is it? You're gonna cut your finger. You're just gonna blow up the candy. Okay, you ready? Set. See, there's a piece for you. Oh my gosh. And... And a piece for me. Uneventful. Panic for wow, no reason. it smells so cheesy. I know, it smells really cheesy. <laughs> Look at that. Nice, clean cuts. Okay, ready? Yeah. So here we go for mac and cheese. It smells so oh cheesy. my wow. god. The amount of cheesiness. It actually smells like mac and cheese. Oh, wow. It's just not warm. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> It has like blue cheese in the middle. Right? It does taste like the powder, but sweet. Yeah, it's very buttery. It's more like a cheesy popcorn. It really just tastes like the powder, but not as intense. Is it unpleasant? No. No. I'm actually surprised. Yeah, it's really sweet. You know what? What? We have a cotton candy making machine. No, we're not what? doing no. this. No, we're not doing this. What? No. We're not doing that. <laughs> technique oh my god so here is our mac and cheese cotton candy Nothing. you ready just do it pull okay ready let's go <laughs> oh my god it's so weird it tastes like blue cheese yeah it still has that creaminess to it that has like very creaminess it's not bad <laughs> I think I prefer it this way. Do you? Because it's more mild. Yeah, it's more mild. And so as a gift that is weird and has flavor and actually does what it promises, I would say the mac and cheese candy is definitely worth your cash. <laughs> and yes, I did pay 900, 900. Oh, wow. <laughs> and yes, this was $9.33. By the way, all the prices are put for brains and USD on yeah. screen. In the same way that we had the mac and cheese, now we are going for pizza. Oh, so you did get that one. I did get the pizza. She okay. was looking through the website like, oh, there's pizza flavor. There was fried chicken too. And pickle. Yeah. But I didn't get that. Are you excited for the pizza? I don't know. I hope it tastes at least somewhat as good as the cotton, cotton candy. candy. It's not the same brand, so we'll see. Here's all. I don't smell I don't anything. I don't smell anything. The cheese one was super intense though. The box on this one looks okay. There's I found the other one more um, playful. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot more going on. Here we just have pizza candy. The pizza is cute. I'm kind of low-key disappointed that he doesn't have a mustache like Mario for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. And it does say that it is both spicy and sweet. Yeah. Why is pizza spicy? Well, I guess spices. It doesn't necessarily it's mean spicy. it's hot. Yeah, but it doesn't mean necessarily it's hot. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And let's see what it looks like on the ins. Oh, wow. That's colorful. That is really colorful. Looks like candy corn. That's true, actually. It does. Super red. Would you like to open it? I've been opening all of them. Okay. Oh. And Would you like me to have some sniffing? Like I bring. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. It smells tomatoey. No. Let me sniff. Let me sniff again. I don't like that smell. It smells tomatoey. It's not as intense as the cheese one. That's for sure. I don't like the smell at all. It has. It still has this acidic fl sm smell. It's. A it's really hard to smell. Like. I know, right? Like you might as well just like, shove it up your nose. <laughs> don't do it. Did you? Did you put up your nose? No. We're supposed to share it. I'm not crazy about the smell. Again, it has that acidic type, like just, it, it hurts here. That's the kind of smell it has. It's like a canned tomato that's been sitting outside for a few days. Why is it sitting outside? That's the smell. 
I don't know. Okay. I don't know. That's how I imagine it would smell. It. Okay. Bring me the board. You ready? Yeah. You get your finger out of the way. Oh my oh. god, you missed. There. Oh. Oh, oh. my god. Hang on, I got this. You obviously <laughs> don't got this. I got this. There. Okay. Jesus. We got it. I knew this came in handy. I am not. I'm not ready for this, but You're, let's do it. Let's do it. One, two, three, go. <laughs> no. Eh. You're still eating it? It tastes like tomatoes, spices, or basil. Ugh. Really, the best way to describe this is diluted tomato sauce with a little taste of metal. Well, I can taste spices, but they're not very good spices. Yeah, and it's just like they didn't put enough of it in it. It's gross. It, it doesn't taste tomato-y enough, and it doesn't have that cheesy flavor like the mac and cheese did. I would not put this in my mouth ever again, Sika. So the pizza candy flavor, even though it is one of their best I'm sellers. I'm burping it. Huh? I'm burping it up. Yeah, it's that gross. 100%. This here is gross. Mm -hmm. Doesn't taste like pizza. Mm -mm. So for us, this here would be... In the trash. Oh! Nice, you got it. <laughs> now that we just did something absolutely gross, I figured we might as well go even more gross. Mm. You thought I was gonna go easy on you, I didn't hope, you? I was hoping. No. I was hoping you'd be a good sister. No. Mm. I am all about... Pickle soda. That might not be so bad because I drink pickle juice. <laughs> What's wrong with you? A lot of things. Who drinks pickle juice? A lot of people do. Just like that. Yeah. For no reason whatsoever. Well, if I finish the jar of pickles, I'm going to drink some of the juice. It's good for you. Is it now? Yeah. Why don't you enlighten me? I'll have to Google it. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have Lester's Fixin' Pickle Flavored Soda. I don't like fizzy things, so that's going to be the issues with fizzy for me, I think. But not just that. We've had really bad experience with this brand of flavored soda sodas. They really ranged from gross to worse to maybe a little okay. Do you remember? Yeah, the corn one was, I think, the best one. Right? <laughs> that was the weirdest one, but it was the one that was the least gross of the gross? The grossest. Grossest. The, grossest. Grossest. the worst one, I think, was probably the ranch and yeah. the buffalo wing. Yeah, so if your grains, again, are interested, links are down below. <laughs> but pickle flavor didn't seem that bad. Are you okay? Yeah. What, what are you doing? You're saying if that's not bad, that means you have one that's worse, right? <laughs> maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it can be worse in the ranch. I don't think it can be worse than- no, it's not a twisty. It's not? It's not. I don't think so. Ooh, that hurts your hands. Yeah, you? don't do it. It's not a twisty. You know what that means. No, no! What? <laughs> Don't use my table! What the heck? Yeah, like no! No, you may not use my table. Go and get the can opener. A can opener? It's not a can. Did you really say can opener? I did. I don't even know what a just go get it looks like. Oh, just ask Pat. He knows. Alright, while we wait, let's talk about today's sponsor, KiwiCo. For those of you who don't know KiwiCo, they are a monthly subscription box that has meaning. If you're looking for something fun, but also has a learning opportunity from it, which promotes critical thinking, creativity, and problem solving, then look no further. KiwiCo's crates offer projects from zero all the way to 104. Topics that range from science and art, like the Kiwi Crate, all the way to engineering and design, with the Eureka Crate. My channel has always been critiquing kits that really don't offer any kind of learning opportunity, and while I was dabbling with KiwiCo, I really felt like, oh my god, what a difference. So for this month, I currently have the Maker Crate. And I was so excited to see that this month, the theme is Punch Needle Pillow. I've actually always wanted to try this technique because I've been seeing it all over TikTok. So I know for the next few days, I'm going to actually be learning a new skill. KiwiCo actually does include everything you need, so you don't need to run out to the store and get extra stuff. I also have the Kiwi Crate. You know what that means? Ah oh, yes. Let's learn with capillary action. Pretty neat balance. Bloop, 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 bloop. All our colors are ready. And let's watch. These boxes provide hours of fun and a learning experience through some really cute magazines. And inside these magazines, there's additional bits of information, which means learning opportunities. So whatever your interests are, or if you're gifting it to a little one, you're sure to find your perfect fit from the many crates that they offer. So check out kiwico.com forward slash nerdycrafter for 50%, yes, 50, off your first month's crate of any topic. Link is also in description box below. Thank you, Kiwico, for sponsoring today's video. One eternity later. All right, so here we go. That's okay, don't worry. You ready for the sniff? Or do you want me to sniff first? I don't care. Five, six times before I let you. I don't care. I do. <laughs> ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh, it smells like dill pickles. It really does just smell like the pickle jar when yeah. you drink from it. Drink from it. When you eat from it. See, I'm not the only one. No, I don't that. drink from it. No, no, you do not put me on the Wait, same you're... level as you, okay? Um, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Watch your mouth. Suck? No! Mm. A 
a lollipop. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Is this good enough for you? I'm sitting I'm sipping from that. Oh. I'm taking from the bottle, give me that. <laughs> She's a pro now. Look at her with the pickle juice. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh. Ugh. It tastes soapy. Do you taste soap? Yeah, I do. It tastes soapy. It does taste soapy. It smells pickle. But it doesn't taste pickle. But it doesn't taste pickle. Well, maybe a little bit of dill in the back, but it tastes soapy. I'm very disappointed that this has a more soap flavor. But is it me or most of their stuff tasted like soap? I don't remember. Or acid. Yeah, a lot of them taste like acid that I remember because like I'm a little scarred. Oh, I did it traumatize you? <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, no. And yet you agreed to this video today. Yeah, like I have so much anxiety like trying to... So, it no. It smells like pickle. It's a little bit like dill, but it tastes soapy more than anything. Yeah, I would say that as a gift or as a gag... No. No, it would definitely go... In the trash! Let's not throw that though. No, let's not throw it. It's, it's gross. the ball cap? So Somewhere under the desk, very deep. Oh, it's next to your foot. No, stop it! I'm gonna pinch your foot! I'm trying to get it for you! I'm not trying stop to it. kick it away! <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Alright, since I love my sister so much, I don't want to put her through too much stress all the time. Yeah. Which means our next drink is not going to... Go on. It's not going to traumatize you. Okay. At least I don't hope. Not my intention, okay? So it's just gonna scar me differently. No, it's not my intention. If they got it wrong, it's their problem. It. Because we are having birthday cake. <laughs> Are you done like being mean to me right now? Let's see how it tastes in the middle. No, you no, know. backstory. Sika's favorite flavor, flavor of anything, whether it be Oreos or cereal or cake, is birthday cake. She loves it. It's her favorite thing in the universe. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you <laughs> whimpering? Did you just whimper? No. She goes, hum, hum. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I take a picture of it. Are you? Are you done Stop moving. moving! I'm not moving! You're talking and breathing. Which is making me move. Wow, I'm sorry for breathing. <laughs> that is not my intention. So while she's taking pictures, <laughs> we have a birthday cake soda. Look. <laughs> I'm gonna post the picture right here of the pic of what she just took right now. <laughs> Such a weirdo. Birthday cake flavor soda. They really shouldn't be messing this up. If they do, I'm gonna be really upset. Same here, because I got this to make you happy. Okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> so if they mess this up, they done messed up. Oh. I don't smell it yet. It's probably like cream soda, right? <laughs> oh, it smells like vanilla. Yeah, it smells exactly it's like, like vanilla cake. essence. Yeah, it does. Just cake. Vanilla cake. You ready? Yeah. You're gonna go directly from here, right? Yeah, probably. Okay. Did you rinse this I properly? Rinsed it okay, I don't want to taste like pickle. I don't want pickle flavor. All right, bottoms up. Yeah, ready? Yeah. Go. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> play doh? Yeah, it tastes play doh. -y. Oh, I think all of their drinks have that base taste I in think, the back, right? Some of them taste like acid, and then the other ones that didn't taste like acid just tasted like play doh. No, there's there's always a weird aftertaste that they have. They all yeah. have that same aftertaste, and you have a taste on top of that. So the initial taste tasted vanilla y, and then the rest of it just tastes like blah. I'm disappointed. I would say that this as a gift or, you it's know. It's not worth it. No. Would go straight. In the trash. <laughs> go ahead, continue. I feel you're very passionate about this subject. No, it just makes me upset because, like, you expect it to taste like it smells, and then it just tastes like stupid garbage. Right. I'm sorry. Come here, honey. They f up. Oh! <laughs> Our next item is something we both really craved but had a hard time finding, especially we did do a TikTok recipe video where it was whipped cream. Dunkaroo? Yeah. You ready for yeah. it? Yeah. Oh my god. Dunkaroos. It's a family size one. Cereal. If it tastes good, I'm leaving with it. I'm not even giving you a choice. Is it General Mills? Oh my god, it's gonna be good. That means it's gonna be good. <laughs> I'm excited right now. Are you done? No. You got the vanilla one, so it's gonna taste like birthday cake. <laughs> so excited. I'm happy for you. So today we have Dunkaroos. For those of you who don't know, Dunkaroos is a really popular snack back in the day when we were younger. I don't know why they kind of remove it from the shelves and then they come back limited edition, then they and remove they it, it and then it comes back. So it's just a, a, a stick that you dunk in some sort of fake it's not a cream. Stick, it's cookies. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a cookie stick. Okay. It's like a sweet pretzel. It's not. I know, all. but it's a cookie. <laughs> You grains will see it on screen right now. <laughs> That's basically it's like the a idea. Cracker. It's a very unhealthy snack. Oh, it's sweet and corn cereal. It's it's corn flavored. Well, I mean it's corn based. Sorry. All right, let's just open it. Yeah, then. please, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to um, open it. The, 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 oh oh oh! It's okay. really heavy oh. box. Yeah. You ready? Mm -hmm. Come closer. No, <laughs> come closer. What? They're making me scared. They look like cookie crisp. Oh, they do look like cookies, but I don't it like the smell. It smells like cookie smell. It smells like the cookie crisp. I don't know. They smell stale. Yeah, that's how cookie crisp smells. Oh, that's how they smell. 
All right. So the cereal itself really just looks like the actual cookie crisp. yeah, cookie but I think crisp. Cookie crisp is a little bit bigger. Okay, you take over. No, I'm done. Go ahead. You're you're so passionate about this cookie and the flavor. Wait, so we did put some with milk just in case the dry flavor is meh and we're like, hey, this is missing the, the, the what's creamy it, the cream. There you go. The the icing. The icing. And yeah, it does look like a funfetti type cookie. Ready? Yeah. Go. Yeah, it tastes like cookie crisp. It tastes like protein powder. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm not pleased with this. So if you like protein powder, sure, it's gonna taste exactly like that. Yeah, it's not very good. And here it is with some milk and let's see how that tastes like. What is this synthetic sweetness there? That is very disappointing. It's better in the milk though. It is better in the milk, but it still tastes like protein powder and fake sweetness. I don't like it. Would you buy this? Not at the price you bought it at. Would you buy it at $3? Yeah, I wouldn't. I would. So for me, it would go. In the trash. And for Sika, it's skeptical. Just going to town though. You hungry? It was three, yeah. You're hungry. <laughs> and now we have dog treat. Dog treat. Sika's my pet. I did call her my spirit animal. That's true. It's true. And um, this is supposed to be bacon on the go. It's bacon jerky. I don't know. It's not jerky because it's soft. Yeah, but bacon jerky is also soft usually. I don't know. It looks gross. I love bacon jerky so much. I've never had this before. I've never had this, but you've had bacon jerky. Remember when we went to the States a couple years ago? I bought so much of it because it, we didn't have it in Canada. But it was sliced, right? It looked like that. I don't remember. It was just, it's a different company. And then I bought like so many of them. I kind of like poor. <laughs> And then they made them in Canada. Now I just go to the corner store and buy bacon jerky from the corner store. So this isn't cheap at $4.18. For one slice? For one slice. Let me double check. Yeah, it's bacon jerky pretty much. Yeah, $4.18. Ouch. I buy the bag for like seven bucks and you have so much more in there. Are you done interrupting me? No, I want to eat it. It's bacon okay, jerky. Okay, wait. I love bacon jerky. I need to introduce it. Preserved meat never makes me feel at ease. The only preserved meat I'm okay usually with is spam, I guess because we grew up on that as kids. I and lunch spam in so long. And luncheon meat. We grew I up on that. It was very meat. popular. So are you are you done interrupting I'm me? Hungry. I have stories too. Feed me. I've had an apple and coffee. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna stop doing the talkie talkie because Sika wants to do the yummy yummy. Ooh, that looks weird though. Oh, it smells good. It smells very smoky. It really reminds me of brisket and it just smells really good. You could probably have the same, are you, whoa, whoa, wow. Okay, you could see the fat. Yeah, it looks pretty gross. You could see the fat right there. That is not, no, it's so fatty. Well, bacon is fatty to begin with. I know, but how do we eat this? You just eat it. Oh, just take a bite. Oh, take a bite. Uh, oh my God, it's so greasy. So as you can see this looks really greasy. Look at the grease here. I don't, oh my god. I don't know if I would pay, I haven't tried it yet, but I don't know if I would pay four dollars. Four bucks is a little bit much because you can get one piece of bacon. Yeah. I mean it's a thick slice, but still. Ready? Yeah, it's so oily. I'm You're really something. far though. Sorry. <laughs> smells good though. Ready? Yeah. Go. Mm, good. It's jerky. I told it's you. It's bacon jerky. Yeah. Mm. It's much sweeter. Yeah, it says it's a sweet savor. Oh, so yeah, it's just, it's sweet bacon. It's good. It tastes like beef jerky without the um, dryness. It's a lot. Did you eat the whole thing? Yes. <laughs> I'm here like, today we're going to try this new type of food. It has this savory and sweetness undertones. Damn <laughs> it. Are you content now? Yeah. She definitely has luscious lips now. I feel like I put on lip balm. Now at $4. What is your opinion? It's expensive, but it's really good. <laughs> well, I mean, I can't really ask her because she bought so much j bacon jerky that she went poor. So for her, it would definitely be cash. For me, it would be skeptical cash because of the it price. Tastes, yeah, but it tastes really good. It does taste really good, so it, it's it's very flavorful. Remember, if you if you fa 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 fa. Remember, if you want. It, <laughs> Okay, I'm done. If you want to find Sika, you can find her at Nerdy Sister underscore Sika on Instagram. And you can find me on Twitch, TikTok, and Twitter. All the T's. Don't forget to add me. And if you want to watch the previous tasting weird foods, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a crafty video, make sure you check down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.